In this video, we're talking about the area of a trapezoid. This is on the back of the homework in the center. Uh, this is a trapezoid. The definition of a trapezoid is a four-sided figure that only has one set of parallel lines. So these are the bases and they are parallel to each other. Notice this line is not parallel to this line. Um, also, just note that you can have a trapezoid that looks like this, that's like cut off like this. So these don't have to be out like that. That makes it an isosceles trapezoid, but it doesn't really matter. The important thing for you to know is that there's two kinds, one that looks sort of like that, one that's cut off like this. Now, um, the formula for the area of a trapezoid, which area means the measurement inside, is the average equals sorry the area equals the average of the bases times the height so now you have two bases and they're two different lengths so which one are you going to use well you're going to use both of them you're going to find their average and then multiply times the height which is the three meters um, before I move forward I just want to make sure you know that when you're measuring area you're talking about actually filling this with little tiny squares and in this case since we're talking about meters there are one meter squares inside. So that's why our answer is going to be meters squared down here. It's literally how many squares can you fit inside, as opposed to perimeter, which is a measurement around the outside, which would be uh, 6 plus 4 is 10, 4 4 is 18 altogether. Okay, so now, average of the bases. Well, formally, that means you take your one base, in your second base, so B1 and B2, so we substitute them in here, 6 plus 4. You add them together, and then you divide by the number of numbers, so 2. So 6 plus 4 divided by 2, 6 plus 4 gives us 10, divided by 2 gives us 5. The height, however, is 3. The height is measured straight from one base to the other. These numbers are tricks. You don't need them. If you were measuring the perimeter, the distance around, you would need them, but you do not need them in this problem. So now you have 3. So this, like we said before, simplifies to 5 times 3 is 15 meters squared. Uh, definitely memorize the formula. I tell students to memorize the average of the bases times the height. That's conceptually very easy to remember. Then how do you get it? It's base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2 times the height.